So I'm very excited because today I have my very first guest on the show, my sister-in-law. Hi, Joan. Hi, Lisa. How are you? Fine, thanks. So Joan is going to be sharing with us about being a stay-at-home mom, some of the challenges that she has faced, some of the benefits, and some advice to you guys who want to make that decision. So stay tuned. Glad to have you here. You. I want you to tell us about who you are, mm. something about you, so that um, the subscribers can get to know you better. Okay. Yeah. Um. Hi. My name is Joan Soke. I have been married um, 13 years. I have three children: mm. an 11 year old, a seven year old, and a five year old. They are fantastic children. Hey, that's experience right there. 11 year old. Mm. Yes. How is yes. it going? It's great. It's mm. great. They're not perfect, but I love what I see. Mm. Mm -hmm. yes. So you are stay-at-home mom? Yes, I'm a stay-at-home mom. And many things, actually. Okay. But primarily, a stay-at-home mom. Mm. Mm. So I'd like you to share with us, how did you get to be a stay-at-home mom? Did you choose? Was it forced on you? <laughs> share with us your story. Uh, my being a stay-at-home mom mm. was mainly circumstantial. Okay. Um, I had crazy 11 years ago, and I remember that was yeah, two years into our marriage mm. when I conceived, and the pregnancy was so brutal on me. It was so hard. I had a morning sickness. Mm. And at that time, I remember I was working, and I had a job that I really and absolutely loved. Mm. However, when the pregnancy set in, I just knew that um, something was going to change. At that point, I wasn't considering being a stay-at-home mom. Mm. I had been raised, or I was raised to work mm. um, by a single mom. Yeah. I saw her work all throughout, even in my education, my first, second, and third degrees. I had them uh, very quickly. Because I always thought I was going to be this uh, career woman, global climbing trotter, the ladder, climb the mm. ladder, go out there, <laughs> conquer the world, yeah. bring it home, yeah. you know. And but when I got pregnant, like I said, it was so difficult, mm. and I decided not to renew my contract thereafter when I had the baby. Mm. So I stayed home to look after him, mm. and and it was like I said again, it was circumstantial in the sense that the pregnancy was difficult first time mother and at that point i didn't want to associate myself with stay at home moms because mm. in my <laughs> mind stay at home moms were for lack of a better word mm. were not giving life their best mm. and i just had this whole twisted idea about them you know they do nothing at home yeah. i'm like you know how how then do you after you've gotten this education and this mm. exposure can you waste that how degree? can you waste that degree you mm. know then even when i became when i stayed home my mom would call and say mom we we, we educated you how, how money yes you're wasting <laughs> all this you're wasting all this money at home yeah and you know she had uh, six kids so i saw her really work so hard mm. take us through school and mm. in many ways she showed me that you can actually work and and look after the kids yeah so that was my mindset at that time mm. yeah oh so, yeah. wow so it was circumstantial yes. you were never thinking about yeah. it ah i remember you know even me when i was you know, in school, I always thought, you know, I'm going to just be climbing that ladder, like even thinking about being a stay-at-home mom. Eh? <laughs> Never, not in my vocabulary, but I guess like as things happen, you get to see that I think I need to make some changes. Like life happens and then your decisions just kind of change. So, all right. So you've been a stay-at-home mom for about how long? Um, Intermittently, seven years. Oh, wow. yes. Seven and, years. Yes. Stay at home for my first born two years and I went back to work. Mm. I worked some, then um, got pregnant again after about four years and then stayed home, then went back to work. So it's been on and off. Mm. Yes. So people always have, there's always a pressure 
Mm-hmm. You know, it's a pressure for always saying you need to be there for your kids, you know, be home more. Then others are saying to keep a career. What are the benefits so that people can know what they're getting into? I think, first of all, mm-hmm. we must clarify that uh, there is no perfect way of mm-hmm. doing this. Mm-hmm. And um, before my experience that was, uh, there was a time when stay at home moms used to get a lot of. A lot of flack mm, yeah mm. from working moms and vice versa yeah so it seemed like when you're working mother you're totally lost you cannot have time with the children do you even know what yeah. how many feeds your child has taken you like know you, them you, like you do not know anything about your kids yet it's not the truth yeah and also for stay-at-home moms i think that challenge or the issue at that point was I, but you guys at home, you're doing nothing, mm. you're not contributing anything to the economy. <laughs> yeah. You, you're maybe even you are dead, things didn't work out for you at, at work, yeah. Or maybe you, you're the kind that has a rich husband, mm. or you're lazy. So, mm. I, I think those things shouldn't be there. There is no perfect way of doing things. Mm. People's circumstances are totally different, yeah, and each one has to appreciate that. Mm. So, I'll start with the benefits okay. of staying home. In my experience, um, it's been great. I think the greatest benefit for me has been the time that I've had with my children. Mm. While I was working, I didn't have this time. At that time, I had a job, or I've had jobs where, because there have been different jobs, Mm. so I've had jobs where you find yourself closed into work, in the workspace, and you can't even afford to go for the sports day, Mm. the parent-teacher conferences, Mm. You really following up on the child's academic performance yeah. or even their development becomes difficult. Yeah. However, when I decided to stay home, all the mm-hmm. times when I stay in home, I realized that it afforded me this opportunity to do that, mm-hmm. to be involved mm-hmm. in their lives, yeah. holistically, their academic life, their home life. And I think that was the biggest benefit for me. And as a result, I built a relationship with them that was never there before. Mm. I got to know so many things about my children through the things that we're doing, the normal house chores, even doing homework with them, yeah. um, doing outdoor activities with them. I got to learn about my children's temperaments. Mm. This you cannot, this cannot be taught to you yeah. or your mate or ch- your child's mind that can't mm. tell you some of these things. Mm. But when you're there yourself as a mother and you throw yourself into their lives, yeah you will have this opportunity of knowing your child on an intimate level mm. and by the way the vice versa is true yeah that your child will see you in a frustrated mode mm. in an, an excited mode mm. there's a time my kids would even ask me eh, mommy we didn't even know that you watch movies or you're even interested in <laughs> too serious yes yes as that serious person i'm the disciplinarian mm. so they never got to see before I started staying home. Like it was difficult for them to uh, to connect with me in on a, that on a level, certain level, like, yeah, on the level yeah. of the extreme when you're ex- extremely happy mm. or too frustrated. Yeah, yes. Mm. So for me, it was one of those. I think the greatest, greatest thing. If you did you ever feel like the maid knew your children more than you did? Like I feel like I faced that. Like you'd come back and sometimes my son would cry and the first person he'd want to go to to be the maid ah those things would break my heart did you experience something like that yes that is about what you expect if (laughs) someone is spending yeah you're eight to five you're spending eight to five Mm. those hours at work Mm. and then you have this maid who is spending the same time with your child what do you expect yeah babies children get attached Mm. you know with socialization with the people they're socializing with Mm. so at one point for me it wasn't that as jealous of that time Mm. but i had to assess if that is that the maid or child minder and child relationship is what i wanted yeah when i saw the way they were relating Mm. is that what i really wanted to see Mm. my child going through they start, of course, they start talking like the maid, and then, oh, yes, they yeah. start talking like the maid, or oh, if it's not the maid, let's not, let's not say, you know, when you say maid, you make them seem like they've been bad people, yeah. but they're very helpful people. Very. So we shall just use child mind that. Yeah? Okay. So, but the environment that you, that you subject your child to, whether it is that neighbor, the neighbor's child, I had to sit back with my husband and we really assess, is this what we want? our child to be socializing with mm. for all those hours that I'm away. Mm. 
so i felt like um i i felt like as the best person to offer the better socialization mm. so i wanted to be in touch in in charge of what my child socializes with mm-hmm. how much to what degree yeah. how much information the child has do i have control over that mm-hmm. and so we decided that's that's the point at which my husband came on board and said you know what i think you let's consider you staying home mm. yeah so your spouse had to come in to kind of make that decision you were thinking about like to seal it like because it's important that you're in sync and he is agreeing that this is the right decision for you to make actually the thing better yeah yeah uh, of, of course it's not like he did made the decision for me mm-hmm. i believe that as a mother um as a primary caregiver of this child the decision starts with you but you need support mm. so that is why i'm saying that it doesn't work for everyone mm. there are some people who actually can't be stayed from moms and that's okay yeah then there are those who can't go to work to to an 8 to 5 job then there are those that cannot handle business and that's just fine mm. but whatever it is it starts with you as the primary caregiver of the child mm. so in my case i realized that my husband's support was very key mm. and really spurred me on were there are gray areas or mm. times when we were unsure yes there were there there were many but it's it's a decision that we both made but it started with me mm. guys stay tuned it's getting deep and deeper